Alright, hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to fade in and out of songs in Fruity Loops. So, go ahead and write your song or loop or whatever it is, and we're going to just open it up. So here I have a song that I've already written. Um, I have it, so these are frequency fade-ins, but this is not what we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at the master volume, and this is what we're going to fade in with. Now your master volume is right here, it's the one on the left. And if you click and drag it, you'll see that this percentage right here, it'll change. So it's always preset at 100%, which is just 0, 0 dB, which is what you should always keep it at. But today, we're going to go from all the way to the bottom to 100%. So here's how we're going to do this. First of all, here's the song. Now see how the drums quickly faded in? There was, actually was no fades at all, it's just there. So the easiest way to do this is just to right click and then hit create automation clip. This is all on the master. So now we have the master automation clip all the way. Now in order for us not to move it above 00, zero dB, we have to just try and click as close to it as possible. So I'm going to just conduct a test. I'm going to put it four measures in, say one, two, three, four. Click, and there's the dot. So now this range of data between these two dots can be edited. So we're going to take the first dot and drag it down. What this is, is this line, the more this arrow goes along, this will actually make this rise. So watch this up here while this is going across. See how it went all the way up? So now that we have the fade in, we'll go to the very right to our fade out. So I'm going to go four measures in again. Right there. And now move this down. Same exact thing, just reversed. So see how that all worked out? And that's how you fade in and out of songs. That simple. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching.